It flies faster than a rifle bullet. It punches harder than a 500-pound bomb. And it's almost impossible to stop. This is the Brahmos, India's supersonic spearhead. Born from a Cold War blueprint. Refined by one of the most ambitious defense collaborations in the 21st century. And now, it's rewriting the global rules of missile warfare. In 1998, as nuclear tests rattled the subcontinent, India and Russia signed something far quieter. A joint venture to build a cruise missile. But this wouldn't be a copy-paste job. This would be a strategic transformation. They called it Brahmos, a union of Brahmaputra and Moskva. A river from India, a river from Russia, flowing into a weapon with devastating speed. Behind the project, India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Mashinostroyenia, the brains behind the deadly P-800 Onyx. Three years later, in 2001, the first Brahmos missile tore through the sky. Loud, fast and real. Let's get one thing straight. Brahmos doesn't just fly fast, it stays fast. This missile screams through the air at Mach 2.8 to 3.5. That's over 3,700 kilometers per hour. Faster than an F-16, faster than a bullet, and faster than your radar can track. But speed is just the beginning. This missile strikes with kinetic energy 32 times greater than a subsonic tomahawk. Why? Because velocity kills. At 3,000 kilograms, it hits with the force of a meteor, shattering warships and bunkers alike. It doesn't sneak up. It breaks in the front door at Mark 3. Propulsion is where Brahmos breaks from the pack. Stage 1. A solid fuel rocket booster, instant launch, violent acceleration. Stage 2. A liquid fueled ramjet kicks in. Simple, elegant and devastatingly efficient. No moving compressors. It rams air into combustion using sheer speed. And the result? A sustained supersonic cruise. No dashes, no gimmicks. Just raw blistering velocity from launch to impact. It soars at 15 kilometers altitude, then swoops down to 3 meters above sea level, surfing the radar horizon in sea skimming silence. So, how does it find its target? With a multi layered brain. In the mid course, INS, inertial navigation system, GPS and GLONASS satellite updates. In the final phase, it switches to active radar homing. The missile pings the battlefield, detects returns and locks on autonomously. The radar seeker, inspired by the Russian Onyx, but evolved. All weather, monopulse, frequency hopping to avoid jamming, able to discriminate a single ship from a fleet and future versions like Brahmos NG will wield ASA radars, pushing tracking target discrimination and ECCM to the next level. This isn't guesswork. It's fire and forget perfection. Let's talk accuracy. One meter CEP. That's not a typo. Half the time, the missile hits within one meter of the target center. That means one bunker in a row of 10, vaporized. One radar dish on a cruiser, gone. One airbase control tower, reduced to smoking rubble. And it's not just about the warhead, that Mark III kinetic energy delivers a second silent payload, pure force. Brahmos isn't one missile, it's a dynasty. Band based, Block 1, 2, 3, mounted on heavy trucks. Block 1 for static targets. Block 2 for target discrimination. Block 3 for mountain warfare, capable of steep dives into Himalayan bunkers. Ship based, fired from vertical launch systems. Capable of salvo firing, ER versions now reach 900 kilometers, striking deep inland or wiping out enemy fleets. Submarine launched, test fired from 50 meters below sea level. Vertical canister launch, stealth and speed rolled into one. Air launch, Brahmos A, lighter, 2500 kilograms carried by Su-30 MKI fighters. Standoff strikes at 500 kilometers. The first test, 2017. Today, fully deployed. 
extended range ER. After India joined MTCR in 2016, the gloves came off. ER variants now push beyond 800 kilometers. In 2024, the Indian Navy ordered 220 BrahMos ER missiles, a signal of scale and strategy. Coming soon, BrahMos NG, next generation. Weight down to 1,200 kilograms, compatible with smaller fighters like HAL Tejas, capable of being carried in triplets by a single Su-30. ISA Radar Seeker, stealthier airframe, more missiles, more platforms, more dead targets. Testing planned by 2026. When it arrives, it won't just enhance strike density, it'll redefine missile saturation tactics. If BrahMos changed the game, BrahMos 2 plans to break the board. A hypersonic cruise missile. Target Mark 7 to 8. Range 1,500 kilometers. Propelled by a scramjet, a supersonic combustion engine and it's expected to borrow secrets from Russia's Zircon, the first combat-used hypersonic missile. The goal? Outrun every radar, outmatch every defense, and turn the Indo-Pacific into a no-fly zone for hostile fleets. Let's pit Brahmos against its peers. YJ-12, China, slightly higher speed, weaker ECCM, lacks the multi-platform punch. YJ-18, Subsonic cruise plus supersonic dash, slower overall, less kinetic energy. Cage 32, Russia, faster, longer range, but limited to bombers. ASM 3A, Japan, nimble, Mark 3, 300 to 400 kilometer range, lightweight, not as versatile. Tomahawk, USA, long range, stealthy, but slow, Mark 0.74. Promise holds a unique niche, fast, accurate, survivable and already fielded across four platforms and with NG and 2, it's aiming to conquer every domain, air, sea, land and undersea. Brahmos is more than a missile, it's a force multiplier. It changed India from an importer to a strategic exporter. In 2022, the Philippines became the first buyer. Vietnam is next, Southeast Asia is watching. This missile is shaping alliances, projecting deterrence and challenging the supremacy of legacy systems. But its very existence sends another message. In the future of war, speed isn't optional. It's survival. Brahmos was born in a lab, tested in the field, and now it's prowling international waters, air bases and borders. And while most weapons try to hide, Brahmos doesn't whisper. It screams. In 28 seconds, it can cover 30 kilometers. In one blast, it can end an engagement. And in one evolution, it may outrun every air defense on Earth. And this was Brahmos, the supersonic god of war. The question isn't if it strikes, it's whether you'll ever see it coming.